All right, let's have some real talk. What is pressure? Define pressure. And I got a question asked regarding what exactly is pressure, okay? The ability to feel pressure in that sense is a blessing. So not everyone gets to feel that type of external pressure. They would rather sit in a complacent bubble. And I would argue this, that it is the number one determining factor if you're going to be uh, successful or not. Truly, how you deal with pressure, how you deal with some type of external stress. The more that you can deal with pressure, the more that you can deal with stress, I guarantee you that you will go far and beyond. Challenge yourself to put even more pressure on the plate. Because quite frankly, if you didn't know, I, I played college baseball. I put pressure on myself every day since I was age 12 up to 22. That's a full decade. So I came out of college starting a business and like that, that type of pressure was so uh, a, a hyperbole. It was a, it was a hyperbolic amount of pressure. And right now, it allowed my stress tolerance to, to, to increase the way that I could tolerate stress. Dealing with pressure, you got to recognize that it's a privilege. And then also, the more that you can actually handle, the better success you're going to have. So, yeah, it might, it might feel like, hey, we don't have any jobs on the schedule or we, we don't have this or this or this or this. We, you know, we're comparing ourselves to every, every person doesn't matter truly just control your controllables be able to handle an abnormal amount of stress and you will succeed it's a great day to be great guys and this is going to be part one of this job essentially he wants the windows in the house this weekend but i at least can show you the concrete and what we're starting on but essentially there's radiator radiator fluid so i'll show you how to clean that um, and then concrete uh, and then some brick across the floor so it's a very simple easy job um, shouldn't take too long uh, but we'll crank out the rest of it later this weekend so you'll probably see that uh, but guys it's a great day to be great and let's get it you heard the man it's a great day to be great and we've got radiator fluid we got this concrete these sidewalks this brick patio we're gonna get the house wash and windows later this weekend so you guys let's get it baby come on okay so what is our weapon of choice today do we go the sharpshooter do we go the turbo nozzle i think what we're gonna do we're gonna rinse with this bad boy apply with sh on this and then we'll go turbo i'll give you all some good footage today baby come on with it I'm actually about to show you how you can apply chemical really easily with your pressure washer, but before you put any soap on, make sure that you're rinsing with just water, the doors, the windows, the plants, so that you don't kill any plants um, and you don't discolor anything. That's very, very, very important. All right, guys, I really want to address this because I got a lot of questions about this. How do you apply chemical? This is a downstream injector, so the arrows are going here. The house is going this way, so the arrow needs to be pointing towards the house. That's where we're spraying the chemical. This is going to attach. You can attach it basically anywhere. I just like attaching it right here on my whip line. There we go. Come on. And so it'll attach right here. And then basically I've got this, you know, this SH tank, the vertical tank right behind. It's filled with soap, SH. So we're going to stick this tube. It's a long tube. Sometimes it's a little bit shorter. You're going to just put that on there. If you can see that. And then this is going to be stuck into the SH tube. And that's some strong SH, I'll tell you that. And so, and then you're pulling chemical now, right? Okay, guys, let's get it started. So first off, we're pre-soaking with the soap. It helps kill it a lot easier. And then we're gonna come back with our turbo nozzle. I got some cool footage for like the next minute, so you guys enjoy. I've been pacing my paces in the Kamikaze 
I'll be making my makers say what I'm offering We've all had behaviors and they've been troubling Smoke way too much, I keep coughing I pull out all the stops to make a profit When I get down to the bottom, I need topping Come here and ease my mind, be my clonopin Let me chug this thing and be proud of it I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you on the cloud And you can't sit still when we on the floor When I'm on the force and you use the force, there's no problem I will carve it in and I'll make you feel like you on the cloud And you can't sit still when we on the floor When I'm on the force and you use the force, there's no problem I think it's good to show all these little details, but you see that we're draining our pump up sprayer uh, because it was filled with acid and this is our only pump up sprayer right now. So we're making sure to flush it all out because we don't want to mix this degreaser with acid. So uh, that's what I like to do. Try this degreaser out. Uh, it's called Roughneck. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, and then we're just gonna apply it, so. We're just gonna go straight in there. So if you can see that, I'm not gonna hold it. But I'm pouring it up on a Tuesday. Girl in the club, she too day covering up. Got your girl in the club, she it's Tuesday today too. Got the club going up. <laughs> Okay guys, so what we're doing here, you see the radiator fluid, it looks a little bit less visible whenever it's wet, but it's definitely still there. And we're applying this via a pump up sprayer, okay? We're getting all of this and then we're gonna come back and agitate it with a soft bristle brush. This is very important that you have a soft bristle brush to agitate because you don't wanna agitate with a hard nylon brush, whatever. I like this soft bristle because it really gets into the concrete. We're applying another piece of degreaser right here and boom, we're just applying it. We're gonna follow up with a turbo nozzle and then we're gonna apply another coat. Sometimes it takes a little bit more than just one coat, guys, because you gotta let it sit, you gotta let it dwell. It's a, it's a waiting process. But but at the end of the day, like it's coming out really dang good. You see all that nice little soapy stuff. And uh, we're just going to make sure to rinse it after with our, we have an M5 twist and sharp shooter nozzle. I love this little combo. It's super dope. You know, you can reach those high peaks and then it gives you enough force to, to hit those low peaks as well. So you can go fan mode, whatever it is, but uh, we're making sure to just rinse all of that degreaser down, uh, make sure that it's all soft, but you could definitely notice a complete difference in all of this stuff and shout out my truck, man. What do you think about the truck, man? I think it, it looks pretty good, huh? Hey, what, what? <laughs> let's keep on going. All right, I think it came out pretty good. And, uh, I just got this confirmation text from another washer because we always help each other out. So with oil stains, uh, we use that degreaser, which is a uh, roughneck degreaser. Um, and then looks like it came out pretty good. Need sunlight, oil stains, and vehicle fluids. Need to have UV exposure to uh, come out fully. So um, as long as we get the sunlight, and we will, it'll come out really, really good. And let me just show you. You can see that. And guys, this is about it, man. It came out really good. You can see the difference between dirty and clean right here, guys. And if you are new here, you guys are like my second family. And we're going to go over the customer acquisition, the job cost, and a secret hack that you guys can immediately install into your business. And guys, I know some landscapers and actually some other businesses watch this. So this is actually tangible for basically any service business. But really, you know, you're watching some pressure washing. But man, look, ah, it came out so good. And, and I can't wait to do the house and the windows as well. Um, but let's get into it as we ravel up these hoses, right? So the customer acquisition was actually via a door hanger. Um, love the QR code on it. We have a QR code directed to the website. The website's super simple. I feel like it's actually pretty good. The job cost, this is our minimum job cost. So it's 400 bucks. It's just kind of my minimum. I know it's different for a lot of people. Some people are like $99. Fuck no, I'm not going to do that. Um, a secret hack that you guys can immediately install into your business is make sure that you're like going and talking to contractors because talking to other contractors will lead to them feeding you business, but make sure that you're feeding them business as well. It's a, it's a yin and yang. So you got to make sure that you are obviously doing all of that. We're going to be washing off the trailer right here because there was some mud, but make sure that you are talking 
to these guys and make sure that you have a bunch of business cards because whenever you do that and you're starting to establish your network because your network is your net worth, quite frankly. So make sure that you're talking to everyone, especially those contractors. And my buddy is absolutely killing it right now. I'm about to call him up so that he can give you guys some advice because you just got to listen to these numbers. Uh, it's, it's awesome. All right, I'm about, <clears throat> oh my gosh. All right, I'm about to call this, one of my buddies, he's killing it this week. He's killing it this week. And I'm gonna let him talk on what's working with him. So let me call him up. He'll answer. Hopefully he answers. Come on. <laughs> I, uh, I'm filming right now, so I want, I wanted to I wanted you to give a piece of advice for these guys cuz if you can just go over the week if that's cool I'm not gonna give your name out or anything like that Just go over what my week looks like. Yeah, what does your week look like? Um, it looks like four days of work four days of washing um, And all big tickets What are those tickets? Um I don't know what the average ticket would be, but it's about 10, 10 grand for the week uh, for four jobs. So whatever the average of that is. Okay. So if you could give a piece of advice to someone that may be watching this, what would yeah. it be? What would it be? Yeah. Let me, let me think about it. Um, well, if I look at all those jobs, they're coming from different directions. So. Um, some of them are referrals, some of them are past clients. Um, so the advice I would give would be to play the long game. Don't look for just, uh, like I would call it hand to mouth would be like, I need work right now. Don't look at it like that. Look at it like this is a long game and your customers are gonna pay dividends over the long haul and be patient with it. I love it, I love it. It's a good day, man, it's a good day. We just closed. About four grand of work, man, and uh, that's a blessing, man. That doesn't always happen, but uh, it's happening right now. So I got a song of the day, Million Dollar Baby. And now I'm on the get it, do, baby. Yeah. I get it, man. I don't want to do, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good day, man. Good day. I think it's a really solid day. Um, Man. I just want to let you guys know. I just want to let you guys know. We have this Aikido goal. This Aikido goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers. We're almost there, man. And it would mean the whole world if you guys could, man. Because we're playing the guitar. We're having fun over here at this channel. And we're having a good time. We're learning a lot. And uh, we would. We, I don't want to give you as much value as possible, truly. So you guys should definitely do that. But um. Guys, I'll probably be late up, up late at night tonight. I got a lot of stuff on my mind. Um, I don't have anything to do, baby. Yeah, yeah, and that. Now I turned into a microphone. And that other do, baby. Yeah, a kid of food. All right. <laughs> All right. It's late at night right now. It's about one o'clock, and I don't know if you can tell, but just in my eyes, I'm I'm tired, and tired's not an excuse, but I'm just writing stuff down. I'm maybe hyperbically obsessed. Maybe I'm a an addict for this type of stuff. People ask me. Why do you work so hard, Tristan? Why do you do this? Why do you... Why aren't you coming out? Why aren't you coming out to the bars? Maybe I got a problem. But I know my why. And... I am willing to sacrifice a lot of things for it. Um, and it's hard some days. It is. 
Uh, but you just gotta stick it through and and sometimes you just have to be your own cheerleader just clapping in a solo auditorium one clap one step one step at a time and uh it's tough it's tough but we can do it and I think I have this fear that I couldn't look at myself in the mirror if I didn't do it and if I didn't give it my all and that haunts me at night truly I woke up early the next morning. I had to get a lift in. And guys, look, um, we've got a very, very busy week in next two weeks up ahead. So I just had to get a lot of stuff off my mind. Uh, essentially, man, I, I wanted to show you this one thing because I want to show it before and after of just kind of the physique because this means a lot to me, truly. And in college, man, I was just this like fat loser. And now I'm like starting to become like a shredded loser. <laughs> But it does mean uh, a lot just seeing, seeing the progression. And guys, thank you so much for staying towards the end of this video. Winners win, losers lose. And if you want to win, definitely subscribe. I'm posting every Tuesday, Friday, 5.15 to about 7.30 Central Standard Time. You guys are amazing. You guys are like my second family. And I will be posting as much value as possible. So stay tuned. Take a look at the next video. And I'm going to get out of here. You got this. Peace. No cloud and you can't sit still when we on the floor and I'm on the force and you use the force